You can sit like this with your blocks on your hips. Okay. Or you can sit cross-legged if you've been practicing something like this with your right foot, uh, cross-legged like this, or in lotus pose. So for lotus posture, you can take your right foot on your left thigh and your left foot on your right, like this. You want to hold your foot from bottom, place it here on top, make it very comfortable. We'll begin first with Ishadharma Pranayam. You stretch your spine, you stretch your lower back, you roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders back, bring your shoulders right above your hips. Feel your spinal cord from bottom of your spine all the way to your neck. Let's begin. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Eggs are longer. Hold your breath again. Again, breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath again. Again, breathe in. Exhale. Like this, you can continue at your own pace. I want you to keep your Molabandha engaged from bottom of your spine towards your anus. It's like holding your pee. Contract your pelvic muscles, cranial muscles. And continue at your own pace. You should not burning out. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Repeat, inhale. Exhale. Hold your breath again.
and come back. Grab your palms, make it warm up. And cup it down your eyes. Feel your eyes getting brighter. Breathe in. Breathe out. Move your fingers to your outer cheeks. Welcome to Isha Dharma Yoga Practice. So today is day three. So you have already learned how to do Isha Dharma Pranayam. So it's a bit different than um, usual pranayam, meaning you know what they call breathing techniques and all. In the sense, it gives you freedom to hold your breath as long as you can when you breathe in after that. And when you exhale, as long as you can, you can hold breath after exhalation. So there are three components. Inhalation, exhalation, apart from that, there's Antar Kumbhaka, Bahir Kumbhaka. Antar Kumbhaka, meaning you breathe in and hold your breath, right? After inhalation, you hold your breath. That's Antar Kumbhaka. And then you do Bahir Kumbhaka. So you exhale as long as you can, and you hold your breath as long as you can. So this practice, we're gonna to apply to all the postures when we're holding for a longer period. With the movements, general movements, you can do inhalation, exhalation. Now, you can follow the natural movements of your body and synchronizing with your breath. Meaning, when you're doing expanding and stretching postures, you inhale, when you're doing folding, twisting, bending, all that, you do with exhalation. So that's the um, understanding of traditional yoga practice, which has been practiced for thousands of years. This pranayama, as I mentioned, uh, Ishadhamma pranayama, it came to me many years ago uh, when I was doing my meditation, uh, in the beginning of the meditation specifically. This is how uh, your breathing gets more refined, more subtle, more deeper, and it's very good for your longevity. Also good for your balancing, energizing yourself. The other thing I uh, mentioned is you notice is uh, Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is engaging your bottom, bottom of your spine, your pelvic muscles, your pelvic floor. So it's not just squeezing and holding that, but allowing you to channel that energy from there to all parts of your body. In general, uh, in general, our energy is always going out by going down to the lower chakras because we are so much involved into the externals. So taking this opportunity when you're doing your yoga practice to engage and let it flow to you know, your awareness, wherever it is. In meditation when we practice, Mulabandha happens by its own channels upwards. When your energy goes up, it follows. Your Molabandha follows. You don't have to specifically hold, it just happens. But that's high level in meditation when it happens. So, but also by practicing it, you kind of reminding yourself that there is possibility in yourself and you can channel the energies upwards. So practice uh, Molabandha, uh, Ishadama Pranayam, and your awareness and follow the natural movements of your limbs. So awareness is very important, right? So practice that. Whatever posture your body allows, listen to your body and feel your presence there. Right? Pranam, your energy, your life force flows wherever your awareness goes. Today is a very special day. We will dedicate this practice today to Shri Hanuman. So we'll start with chanting his name. Om Shri Hanumate Namaha. We'll do it for a couple of minutes. Roll the shoulders back. Index and thumb are touching together. Take a deep breath. Bring your awareness to your third eye between your eyebrows.
Breathe in, relax your tongue and bottom of your mouth. Aum Shri Hanumate Namaha. Repeat it with me. Aum Shri Hanumate Namaha. Aum Shri Hanumate Namaha Om 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 Shri Hanumate Namaha Take a deep breath. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keeping your eyes closed, join your palms and center of your forehead. Make sure Hanuman protect us all, give us wisdom and pure, pure wisdom and power, and strength, and take us all through this, these times. Keeping your eyes closed. Rub your palms, make it warm up. Place your palm, palms on your eyes and move your fingers, palms to your outer cheeks. Welcome back again. Let's continue. Take your feet off. We'll begin today with Isha Dharma. Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar A and Surya Namaskar B. So stand up on your mat. Join both feet together. Bring your palms to the center of your heart. Just stay there for a bit. Close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your third eye. Your third eye between your eyebrows. Visualize that, a beautiful morning sun, rising sun. Feel your presence there, soaking in the beautiful sunshine. Let's begin. Bend your knees, touch your fingertips down on the mat, raise both hands, breathe in. Look. Exhale, fold. Take the right foot back, bend or right knee down on your mat. Lift your chin up and raise both hands. Look over your palms. 
Bring your palms down with your shoulders. Join your left foot together to your right. You can do downward facing mountain pose. Relax your neck. Inhale into plank. Exhale, bend both knees down on the mat. Hips up, arch your lower back. And exhale, bring your chest down and chin down. Inhaling into cobra pose, twist pony back, bring your tummy down. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chin up, breathe in. Come over, up, move into your down facing mountain. Exhale. Place your bend in your down first and place the right foot between your palms. So this is lined, raise your both hands, let your pelvis sink forward and lift your chin up, breathe in. Bring your palms down with your shoulders and join feet in front together, fold. Exhale. Inhale, you up, raise both hands, roll back. Exhale, come back straight. Repeat again. Bend your knees, touch your fingers down. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Fold. Three, inhale, walk your left foot back. Bend your left knee down, raise your both hands. Four, exhaling through down, facing mountain pose. Five, inhaling to plank. Six, bend both knees down, arch lower back, hips up, chest down, chin down. Seven, inhaling to cobra pose, which is Twist, pointing back. Come all the way up. Exhale down, facing mountain. Bend your knees down, and mat. Nine, left foot between palms. Fingers to the line, come up again, do under the asana. Low lunge. Bring your palms down, lay your shoulders, and join your right foot together to your left. Fold, exhale. Inhaling, raise both hands, 11, roll back. 12, come back straight. From here, we'll continue with Surya Namaskar B. Bend your knees, touch your fingers down, raise both hands. One. Two, exhale, fold. Show you walk your right foot back, bend your right knee, close it down to your mat, off your mat, almost touching your mat, and raise both hands. Look up. Four into down facing dog. Five, inhaling into plank. Six, you can bend your knees down and go halfway down, put the lower back, neutral or straight a bit, or just go straight into chaturanga. Seven into upward facing dog. Eight is a downward facing dog. Nine, walk your left foot forward with your uh, right foot forward with your palms. And bend your left knee, close down to your mat, raise both hands. Ten, bring your palms down below your shoulders, join your both feet at front together. Exhale. Eleven, roll up, raise both hands, roll back. 12, come back straight. Repeat again. Bend your knees, touch your fingers down. Raise the open, breathe in. One, two, exhale, fold. Three, walk your left foot back. Bend your left knee down, close it down to your mat, and raise the both hands. Four, down dog. Breathe out. Five, inhale into plank. Six, just run in the dust. Or you can bend your knees down if you need to. Inhale, in your upward facing down. Eight, exhale, down door. Nine, walk your left foot forward between your palms. Bend your right knee, close down to your mat. Raise the walking hands, look. Ten, bring your palms down to your shoulders. Join both feet in front together. Exhale. 11, raise both hands and roll back. 12, come back straight. Relax. So that was Surya Namaskar A and B. We did one set of each. One set is meaning 12 postures with right leg goes back, right leg comes forward, and then Left leg goes back and the left leg comes forward. Mm.
No. Join both feet together. Take your palms on your place your palms on your waist. And bend your right knee out. Rich chasana. Place your right foot at root of your left inner upper thigh. Join your palms together in your center, in your heart. Look forward, find balance. You can stay there, or you can raise both hands. Touch your palms together. Draw your navel in, engage your core. Mula bandha. You can stir that, or you can interlock your fingers, cross the thumbs, index open, and stretch your right leg out, more out, further, as out as you can. Further, from here, transition into half moon pose. Place your left palm on your waist, and bring your right foot down. Place your right palm. Below your right shoulder, a bit to your right side. Raise your left leg up. Point forward, stretch your left leg up as hard as you can. And raise your left leg up. Look over your palm. Okay. You can sit that, or you can bend your left knee. Grab a little finger. You can use a block even if you need to under your right palm. Bring your chin over your right shoulder. Look at your right fingers and lift your left knee higher. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath. Inhale and come back. Draw the both feet together. Switch to the side. When you're lifting out, grab hold of your left ankle and place your feet at root of your right inner upper thigh. Turn your left knee out a bit more and lock your right knee cap. Join your palms together. It is center of your heart. Find your focus. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. Raise your both hands up. Touch your palms together. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Hold the breath again. Now interlock your fingers, cross the thumbs index opened, and then stretch your left leg out. Breathe in again. Hold the breath. Breathe out. Exhale. And then hold the breath. And come back. Transition into half moon pose. Right palm on your waist, place left hand down, and reach out the left fingers palm further down in front. Come away left with the left fingers palm on your left shoulder, a bit to your left side. Raise the right leg up more. You can use a block if you need it under your left palm. Raise the right hand up. Other Chandrasana. Bring your chin over your right shoulder, look over your palm. Breathe there. Hold your breath. Mula bandha. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Beautiful. Bend your right knee and grab hold of your feet. And lift your right knee up more. Bring it to your left shoulder. And look at your left fingers. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath.
Make sail. Hold your breath again. And come back. Okay, well done. Now, join your both feet together, facing in front of your mat. Bring your uh, raisable hands. Interlock your fingers, roll your shoulders back. Stretch your arms away as high as you can. Lock your knees straight, tighten your buttocks. And you can like bend your right side for trunk. You can stay there. Or you can place right palm in your outer right leg. Turn your face towards left. And stretch your upper arm beside your ear. And come back. Well done. Raise both hands. Interlock your fingers, cross your thumbs, index open, lock your knees straight, tighten your buttocks, breathe in, and exhale. Push your trunks more to your right, and then place your left palm in your outer left leg. Turn your fist towards right, and stretch your arm beside your ear, take a deep breath, hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And come back. Relax. Okay. Let your prana settle in. No. Raise the both hands. Interlock your fingers, cross the thumbs, index open, tighten your bodies, lock your knees straight, and lift your chin up. Roll back. Take a deep breath there and hold your breath. Exhale and hold your breath again. Come back up, breathe in. And exhale, fold. Fingers just lined, expand your ribcage, and so you can fold into Uttanasa. Bless you. Mm. From here, bend your knees. Move into Uttanasa. You can hold it in Uttanasa, or you can relax. You can stand to your heels like this. Doesn't matter how far you go down, as long as your heels are on your mat. Take a deep breath and come back up. Take your both palms and back. Put it in your shoulder blades. If comment is this, you can just hold your wrists or forearms or elbows with your fingers, palms. So find your practice. Bend your right knee up. You stretch your right leg. Look forward. Hold that. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale. Swing your right leg back. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale. 
Hold your breath again. Release your palms and you can hold it on your waist or in the center of your chest. Or you can you know, bring your palms down below your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your palms down below your shoulders. And see if you can turn your right fingers a bit out to your right side and raise your left hand up. Bring your chin on your left shoulder, look over your palm. Breathe. Hold your breath. Exhale. And come back. Now bend your left knee and stretch your right leg forward. You can hold there with your right leg up, with your palms on your sides, or you can hold your foot with your left palm and then right palm. You can even bend your elbows and bring it forward to your knee. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Bring your palms to your sides and join your feet together. Fold. Stay there for a bit. Bend your knees. Look at us and raise your both hands. You stay there or you can relax and down to your heels. Look over your palms. Take a deep breath and hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Take a deep breath and come back. Relax. Now, take a pass it back between your shoulder blades. Or just hold your wrists or hold your elbows or forearms. Bend your left knee up and stretch your left leg forward. Breathe in and hold your breath. Exhale. Hold the breath again. Take a deep breath. And swing your left leg back. Hold that. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Breathe out. Hold the breath. Now breathing in, take your palms on your waist or the center of your chest, take a deep breath. Exhale. Bring your palms down below your shoulders, fingers pointing out a bit and raise the right hand up. Or you can use a block under your left palm or you can just keep both palms down on your mat. Revolving half moon pose. Other Chandrasana. Bring it to your right shoulder. Look at your palm, breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out, hold your breath, and come back. Bend your right knee forward and take a left foot in front. You can stay there, or you can hold your foot with your both palms. Or you can bend your elbows on your sides and bring it forward to your knee. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. And come back. Join your feet together. Take a deep breath. Fold. And then come back up. Let's see, Rick, have some water.
If you're practicing watching this live stream or video, please take a picture at the end of the class and tag me in on Instagram. Write some comments, feedback, how's the practice going on day three, how's helping you. Keep the vibes, good vibes going with your practice. Simply being on your mat, tuning into your inner awareness, moving into your postures, holding your postures, it's a great way to boost your immune system and overcome all these uh, times of panic and all that things you've been bombarded with. Rise above any fear, do the right thing, and keep your practice going. So next we're going to do Hanuman Squat. So today we're dedicating this practice to Hanuman. So we're going to do Hanuman Squat. And from there, Hanuman Asana using the blocks or without blocks if you've been practicing with pose. So, take your left foot back. Right knee is about your ankle like this. Bend your left knee down more. Bring your palms. Around the sides of your forehead. Bend your left knee. Breathe in. You can hold that, sit down, or jump. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine, ten, ten. <clears throat> Great. Beautiful. Place the right palm on the right thigh. And twist to the right. Hook your left elbow. And back of your other right thigh. Please stretch your left knee straight. You can keep your palms together at the center of your heart. Or bring your left palm beside your right foot down on your mat. Bring your chin over right shoulder. Take a deep breath, hold your breath. Exhale. Release. Bring your palms down beside your foot. Keep your rolls handy. The next pose. Bring Hamasana. So if you have sensitive knee, you can even use a towel or some sort of knee pad. Move your hips back a bit. You stay there for a bit. Relax. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, move forward. Place the right foot from top and slip your right heel forward. Once your right knee is straight, you can place your blocks under your palms and stretch your left knee straight. Or you can just keep your palms down on your mat below your shoulders. Keep slipping your right heel forward. Keep your left knee straight, as straight as you can. You're trying to bring your left quad down on your mat. Good, very right, nice. Take your right knee back. 
Take your blocks off. Take the left foot forward. Come up in your lunge pose. Just stood there for a bit. You can simply stay with the hips to square, and you can do each of them or pranayam, or you can do Hanuman squat. When you're ready, to close down to your mat, breathe in, jump. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, Ooh, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Well done, guys. When you're practicing, keep the windows open so you can get fresh air a little bit. I would close the window if there was a construction wall going. Raise right hand up, breathe in. Exhale. Hold your outer, your elbow, or try to with the outer left thigh. Or place right palm down, left palm up, breathe. Take a deep breath and hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Then come back. Bring your palms down to your shoulders. Keep your blouse aside, handy, and Move your hips back. Take a deep breath. Stretch your left knee first. Exhale. Now, place the left foot from top and slip your left heel forward. You can use your blocks if you like. Again, under your palms. Keep it stretching your left leg. And see if you can stretch your right knee straight. Keep it straight, keep it straight. And come back. Oh, release. Take your blocks off. Okay. Join knees together, feet apart, and relax your hips down between your feet. Or you can use a block on your hips. So, make something comfortable. You will need uh, two blocks for next posture, which is Supta Virasana. Or you may not need it for Supta Virasana. Right. So this I'm using to help you open your thoracic spine better, your upper back better, your blocks or you can even use your wheel if you have a wheel, you can use wheel so you can simply recline back, like this is the first variation, fingers pointing back second variation would be the elbows down 
And at this point, you can adjust your block under your scapulas. Right under your scapulas. Right? Good. And then other block can go under your head. To adjust it better, you can bring it up as close to your head and relax. You can relax your hands at your sides, or you can relax your hands back. If you can't move at all at back, you can just stay in Virasana, which is with your back perpendicular to your mat. And you can just interlock your fingers on your thighs and just relax for a bit. Do Ishadharma Pranayam. Take a deep breath. Pause. And exhale. Pause. Release. Bring your palms down on your feet and come back up. Stay there. Raise both hands. Cross your right arm over your left. Virgarudasana. You can interlink your index and thumb, touching together. Take a deep breath, lift your chin up. Lift your chest up, stretch your lower back. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Take a deep breath. And exhaling full to right back. Beautiful guys. Very nice. Keep going. Come back. Release. Nice. Raise them again, both hands. Cross the left arm over your right. Mm. Like this. And wrap your forearms, fingers, arms. You can interlink your next and palm. Touch it together. You stretch your spine, you stretch your lower back, lift your chin up. Breathe in, hold your breath. Exhale, hold your breath. Look forward to getting breath. Exhale on your back. And come back. Straighten legs. Oh, we're on nine minutes more. Let's continue. Great. Stretch your both legs wider apart. Pull lips back. Bring up, sit balls down on your mat. Expand your inner rib cage. Push heels forward. And bring your elbows down first. You can use your block if you like under your forehead like this. Or you can bring the bow down, move your elbows forward. Continue. Now if you have a lower back a stiffness and tight hip joints, you can place a single block under your hips this way, under your hips. To help you elevate and help you open your inner rib cage better.
You're gonna stir that, or you can bring your chin down. You can bring your chest down, bring your belly button down. Find your progression. Beautiful. Oh, come back up. I appreciate. I appreciate your effort, your inner awareness to allow yourself to experience your practice. Now, turn your right palm facing up and so you can Rotate it clockwise and hold the inner arch of your right foot. Or you can use a strap or a towel, or like this, right? You choose your options. Raise the left hand up, turn your face to your ceiling. And then stretch your upper arm beside your ear. You can hold that or bend your right elbow down to the inner side of your right leg. Hold your foot, the outer side of your right foot with your left fingers palm. If you can reach out, your foot can interlock your fingers. And come back. Beautiful. Switch to the side. Left arm rotated any clockwise. Holding the inner arch of your foot. Raise your right hand up. You can sit out or you can bend your left arm down to the inner side of your left leg. Turn your fist towards right to the ceiling and stretch your upper arm beside your right ear. You can sit out or you can reach out your right fingers palm holding your outer left foot. You can even interlock your fingers at the bottom of your foot. And come back. Nice. Good. Join both feet together. We're gonna do Tarasana, star pose. So bend your knees 90 degree, pull your hips back. You can place a block if you like on your feet. Breathe in. And as you exhale, walk your elbows beside your feet and bring it forward to your feet. Palms are touching together. Keep your blocks handy for next pose. You can, you may use it later. Um, lie down on your back, on your mat. Give it a side. Bring your, we're going to do Siddha Bandhasana, half bridge pose. Bring your heels close to your hips and lift up your pelvis, lift up your hips. You can use um, two blocks if you like. Or flat or sideways or on top, vertically aligned. Good.
and then straight grain mix. feedback bend your right to your heart hold your right hand straight with your both fingers palms half bridge Bhavadamukdasana variation pull your knee towards your rib cage and stretch your both uh, stretch your both feet forward point both feet forward and raise your left leg up a couple of inches off your mat very nice good been great. And then switch other side. Bend your left knee towards your heart. Hold your left hamstring. Point both feet forward. And then stretch your right leg a couple of inches off your mat. And bend your knees up. Interlock your fingers across your blocks and raise your both legs up. It's called Viparita Karani. Very good for your thyroid. And put your tree gland. Relax your lower tummy. Yoga practice also helps to balance your hormones like thyroid, pituitary gland, good for pineal gland, especially when you're practicing Ishadharma Parayan, all your hormones begin to reset. And come back. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. We're going to do Supta Garudasana and from there we'll do Shavasana. So for Supta Garudasana, you can cross your right thigh, the way left. Lock it to the back of your ankle or calf. Raise both hands, cross your left arm over your right. Wrap your forearms, fingers, palms. So if you can't do this, your legs, you just cross your legs. No need to, if you can't walk it to that's fine. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, squeeze in and bring your elbows to your fire. Hold on, breathe in and hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold the breath. Release. All right. Switch to the side. Cross your left thigh over your right. Cross your right arm over your left. Breathe in. Exhale. Squeeze in. Take a deep breath. Mold your breath. Exhale. Hold the breath again. Release. Upside down back pose. Dangle of your feet. Interlock your fingers. Outer sides of your feet. Keep your elbows bent out. Knees bent out. And bring your big toes behind your head. 
breathing. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath. And relax. Feet apart, hands apart. Makes a little bit comfortable. Relax fully. Let go all the tensions of your body, your muscles, joints. Turn your palms facing upside. Relax your mind. Keeping your eyes closed. Let the palms make it warmer. And cover it on your eyes. Feel your eyes getting brighter. Bring your palms to the center of your heart. And let's conclude now with Om Shanti. Breathe in. Thank you. Are you all listening?